as we've heard today, the University of Chicago has been central to the City College's learning agenda, and we were fortunate to have with us this morning um, Professor Juan de Pablo. Professor de Pablo is the Liu Family Professor in Molecular Engineering at the University of Chicago's Pritzker School for Molecular en Engineering, Executive Vice President for Science, Innovation, and uh, at the National Laboratories and Global Initiatives and Senior Scientist at Argonne National Laboratory. He will share a few words with us about the growing collaboration with the University of Chicago. Thank you, Thank you uh, very much for inviting me to this uh, event. It is a true honor to be, uh, uh, to be here. Um, City Colleges is an anchor educational institution in Chicago, and we recognize its important contributions to the city infrastructure and fabric of the city. I think important is the wrong word. It is critical to the civic life of the city and the growth of Chicago. And you, Chicago, the University of Chicago, is committed to supporting city colleges education and civic education efforts. Over the last two years, as part of a new initiative that we call Inclusive Innovation, which for us is led by, uh, led by Nick Alevando, who's sitting uh, uh, over there, we have uh, doubled down on our partnership with uh, city colleges, and we have executed a number of MOUs that are very important uh, to us. As part of this initiative, we are focused on creating opportunities for city college uh, students and for our educational community at large. Both of our institutions, the University of Chicago and City Colleges, have an interest in expanding STEM education and workforce opportunities, workforce development in the technology fields for all of our, all of our students. And um, the reason we're doing this is actually um, self-serving. Let's be uh, honest about this. I think that uh, our continued collaboration can create the talent, the workforce that will attract to Chicago incredible businesses, corporations in the high technology fields that will come here and generate jobs attracted by the talent that we have to offer. That is the dream, that is the ambition. I know we can get there, but we can only get there by meaningful, impactful partnerships like the ones that we have with City Colleges of uh, uh, Chicago. Uh, the career opportunities in emerging scientific fields uh, such as quantum engineering, immune system engineering, biotechnology, sustainable materials are immense. And in many ways, people here around our ecosystem are actually developing these technologies. So what we want to do is attract companies, create startups, generate jobs, and populate all of those jobs with students with institu from institutions like City Colleges of, uh, uh, of Chicago. Um, to advance this ambitious goal, we're doing a number of things. I'll give you a couple of examples. You've heard from some of my colleagues uh, before. But uh, for example, the Pritzker School of Molecular Engineering offers an introduction to molecular engineering course. It's an intensive course, three weeks long every summer. We've had three cohorts of this program, and around 50 students from city colleges have already gone through the program. Now, this is a new discipline. It's a discipline that doesn't exist somewhere else. We're pioneering that here at the University of Chicago. If we open that course to anybody in the world, we would have thousands of applicants. And we've chosen to do this exclusively with City Colleges of Chicago. The students that we get are phenomenal. We think we can make an impact. And we'd like to actually increase the size of the, of the program. We'll see if we can get there. I'll give you another example. Uh, data sciences, that's an emerging, growing field. Again, we have tremendous talent at the faculty level around uh, uh, Chicago. We started a preceptor program where um, we attract talent from all over the world who want to become uh, uh, faculty, instructors, teachers in data science. We train those students with mentoring from U Chicago faculty and City Colleges uh, faculty. And then they teach two courses at U Chicago and two courses at City Colleges in forefront areas of data science. It's a very rapidly moving field. We like to expand that to more preceptors. 
I'll give you another example. There's, there's lots of them, but I chose a few that I'm involved with because I think they're very exciting. And this one is motivated by a recent visit to the emergency room at the medical center at the University of Chicago. Uh, we have a um, partnership in which uh, students from your basic learning assistant program actually do internships at the University of Chicago with the possibility of employment afterwards. We have many of your students now working at the uh, University of Chicago Medical Center. And a few weeks ago, when I was there, I had the pleasure of being uh, uh, worked on by one of your graduates, and she was phenomenal. I'll give you another example that I'm very excited about. This is a project that I'm working on. Uh, all of you have heard about the problem that we have with uh, upcycling or recycling plastics. I'll give you a frightening statistic. You've seen pictures of this uh, mass of plastic floating in the Pacific Ocean. All right, if we don't do anything about the plastics problem, by 2050, the weight of plastics in the ocean is going to be greater than the weight of fish. Of course, we'd like to solve that problem. Turns out that in Chicago and the universities around Chicago, including Urbana, Northwestern, Wisconsin, we have some of the best research anywhere in the world in upcycling of plastics. What we need now is to actually translate all of those discoveries into technologies and companies that, um, so we're competing for a very large grant from the uh, National Science Foundation to the tune of $160 million to do just that. We're very optimistic. I hope NSF is hearing me. That's a really good, <laughs> a really good uh, project. But all of the workforce development aspects of that proposal are going to be led by Doris Espirati, who's a city college's faculty member. Again, that's an example of how meaningful these partnerships can be. Um, one last example. Uh, you've heard a lot about technology, uh, data sciences, artificial intelligence. Guess what? To do all that work, you need some very, very powerful computers that are very expensive. So we're about to submit a grant to the National Science Foundation to buy such a computer, and it will be used by U Chicago faculty and City College's faculty. Another example of how we can partner to do better uh, together. So really, to conclude, the University of Chicago places a very, very high value on the partnership with the City Colleges of Chicago. They're very important to uh, the future of the university, to the future of the City of Chicago, and to the future of the nation. On a personal note, I want to say uh, uh, thank you uh, every time I come up with one of these crazy ideas, a big new project, if I call uh, Juan Salgado or Mark Power or Doris Espiratu, they never say no. They humor me, they listen, and you know what? They always come through, so thank you very much.